DIY Duke here. And we got Gabe. Hey, I'm here. Thank you. Say something in Spanish, Gabriel. Hey, amigos, ¿cómo estamos? Saludos aquí a la banda con mi amigo el Duke. Y aquí estamos no. cambiándole el aceite al troque del incendio porque vamos a estar listos ya a prepararnos ya. Y aquí el maestro Duke me está enseñando a cambiar el aceite y es lo que voy a hacer. I don't know what he said, but it sounded good. So Gabriel is doing the oil change on the old Freightliner, 1985 Freightliner with the Cummins engine. So he's just putting the oil right in there. He's already changed the filter, and there's old oil. We're looking at about eight gallons probably in this one. So we're going to go over here and do a really simple thing, but a very necessary thing, is to change the fuel filters on this truck. It's that time. If you don't change the fuel filters, you're going to get dirty fuel and then your truck's not going to run very good. Sometimes it won't run at all. won't even start. You can notice a lot of times when the fuel filter is dirty, when the truck has no power. So, real simple. has a primary, secondary, has a water drain under here for this filter. We're going to change both of these. All it takes is taking them off. Lefty Lucy, Lefty Lucy, filling up these filters with fuel, putting them back on, starting to rig up. That is after Gabriel's done over there, but we're going to be doing this at the same time he's doing that. So let's get started. Now, sometimes you need to use a filter wrench. This is a nice strap wrench that we had to use up the. That makes it a lot quicker. Basically, that's all it takes. Then you can do the rest by hand. That one's loose, and we're going to do the same with this one, that old baby on there. That one's pretty loose, that's the way they ought to be. Remember last time we learned about the oil filters, not put the oil filters on too tight or they're really hard to get off. So we're going to take those off, a lot, a lot of times what happens is fuel is going to come out of there, so we're going to put something there to catch that. Couldn't find anything to go under there, so we're just going to put a little bag right here. Take some of that. And there comes the fuel. As you can see, this will catch it, most of it. There you go. Now this thing is plumb full of fuel right there. Let's try the other one. This one, not so much. Sometimes these aren't. There you go. That simple. Pull them off. Like the oil filter, you want to make sure you check see if the gaskets have come off. Let's look up in there. Yep, nice and clean surface. Same with that one. You notice this has an O-ring. That's going to be included in the other filter package, so we'll replace that as well. Let's check it out. Okay, here's the new filter right there. This is a Napa one. And there's our water drain. And what we're looking for, haha, -ha, there it is, the new O ring. Flat ring, whatever. That's one filter, and there's the other one. So, what we're going to do, take that plastic. going to fill this with fuel. We don't have to go clean up because when you spin it off it'll all dribble out so up to at least nine tenths of the way. Put some oil or some fuel on there and make sure it goes on good just like an oil filter. Before we do that we'll replace this gasket and then we'll be able to put that on. Let's do it. We'll get some in there. This what it does is prevent air getting in the system. If you just put these on dry, a lot of these trucks have mechanical fuel pumps and so they start pumping right away and then it pumps air into the system. So what you'll want to do is fill this up pretty close to the top, not all the way up in there because when you spin it on the threads will just push it all out everywhere. So. Obviously, if it has the electric fuel pump, 
you can turn the key on and an electric fuel pump is going to fill up the system. But these do not have that. So you want to make sure to fill your filters up with fuel as much as possible before you put them on. Otherwise, you're going to get air in the system and then it's a pain and then you know what to get it out a lot of times. Let's go ahead and spin this one on and then we'll do the other one exactly the same. Filter. And go here. We've already put our gasket on there. A lot of times to get it started, you can turn it left and then right. It'll get your threads going. Go ahead and spin that on. And remember, we're not going to put these on too tight. It's going to come up to the base, and then we're just going to spin it on like about three quarters turn right there. That's going to be great. Any harder, it's going to be tough. Now, down the road when we do it again, we'll probably be able to just take it off by hand or just a slight use of the filter. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. Fill it up, spin it on, and then next step is to start the truck up, let it run, and that's it. That's all the fill filter changes. Simple. Meantime, Gabriel's over here doing the oil change. You notice what's near Gabriel's feet? Oh my gosh, that's a 45 pound dumbbell. Obviously, Gabriel's been working out. Ain't that right, Gabriel? Yeah. Like, nice. So, he's got one, two, three, five, six quarts so far. How's it looking, Gabriel? Uh, halfway now, maybe. So we got, is it showing up on the dipstick yet? Yeah. Oh, nice. So uh, like halfway now, I think maybe halfway. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe those. All right, oh low. yeah, right on, so. Maybe two, those two more. Yeah, so six, seven, eight, that sounds about right yeah. for this engine. So we'll leave Gabriel to it. So, that's a quick fuel filter change, and that's a, uh, primary and the secondary filter really simple just take them off put them on make sure they're full of fuel crank your engine up make sure it all goes good and you're back on the road until next time diy duke